Hello, my absolute darlings. I come to you today from an undisclosed location. Ooh, controversy. That's not true. I'm in my house, albeit in a slightly different room from normal. And I, I bring to you today a very special episode of TLIO, TLIO, The Library is Open. See what I've done there. Um, I realise I toss the word special around quite freely, but this time I really think it is special because... Dun, dun, have a cup of tea, sit down. Today is the official launch of the Library is Open Digital Book Club. Da, 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 da. I was expecting to do that, it was an impulse. So if you saw any underwear, I do apologise. And I hope I don't get, you know, struck off the platform. Right. Um, anyway... <laughs> Yes, that's true. So um, a lot of you have been asking and we've been kind of talking about it in the comments in the past and stuff. And I decided let's um, let's do a little pilot. Let's um, let's have a digital book club um, affiliated through uh, the library is open and it's open to all of you. Um, so here's how it's going to work. What we will do is select a book. I'll come to that in a moment um, and I'll then leave um, a uh, period of time say a month I think a month for people to get hold of the book in whatever format is best suitable for them be that audio book um ebook physical copy library borrow whatever um you'll then have like the month as I say to read the book and then um I'm going to set up an email specifically for this and if you want to join the um the chat which will be held on zoom or a similar platform uh, you'll just email there and I will send you the link. Obviously, I don't just want to post the link willy-nilly because um, otherwise, you know, I, I do want to sort of make it a safe environment where it's, you know, there's not going to be any messing about or trolls or anything like that. So uh, that's why we're going to do that. But that will come, um, all that information will come properly next week um, once we've chosen the book, which is kind of what I wanted this session to be. Um, so... And then, you know, if this goes well, um, we'll maybe look at doing another one, maybe make it every month or something like that. But we won't put too much pressure on it. We'll just see how it goes. And, um, you know, I want it to be a very, a very libraries open book club. So a bit silly, a bit funny, a bit deep, if you like, profound or a bit surface, whatever you want. And, and I want us to all feel free and not that there's a... Um, a particular way to do book clubbing or any rules or anything like that it's it's not a case of you know um I don't ever want anyone to feel that you know their opinions or whatever on things are not valid or that something seems quite basic to mention or or for people to just go actually I really didn't enjoy this all of those things are absolutely fine um it's going to be a thing for us so hopefully that sounds like something you'd really like to do. Um, as I say, full instructions will come next week and I'll set up that email and so on and so forth. But for now, what I'd like us to do is choose the first book uh, for the book club. So I've selected three titles with some help from um, some of you, namely Kelly, who is an, um, um, an avid, avid watcher. Would that be fair to say? Um, so thank you so much for that help. And I've tried to choose from three different genres to kind of appeal to, a, well, a little bit of something for everyone with, with the disclaimer that obviously that's not always going to be possible. Um, so uh, I sort of narrowed it down to three books that I think would be really great reads for a book club. Not too long, not too short, not too serious, but not too light, hopefully. Um, and so I'm going to introduce those books to you. They're here. Ooh. And then in the comments, what I'd like you to do, please, is to cast your vote for which book you think it should be. Um, I'll also run this poll on Twitter. You can find all my Twitter details in the description and also on my Instagram story semi-regularly. So you can vote on, on there and then I'll tally up all the votes. And by this time next week, roughly, um, I should have a clear leader. And that will be the book that we read. And then I'll announce it and go through all the rules properly there. Hope that all makes sense. So without further ado, let's look at the book options, shall we? Drum properly, this would be really atmospheric, wouldn't it? <laughs> so first up, we have... Da -da 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 
How to Disappear by Gillian McAllister, which was selected by the lovely Kelly. Uh, so this is a thriller. And what I'm going to do is just read the blurb for you. Um, so it's contemporary thriller. And it says, Lauren's daughter Zara witnessed a terrible crime. But speaking up comes with a price. And when Zara's identity is revealed online, it puts a target on her back. The only choice is to disappear. To keep Zara safe, Lauren will give up everything and everyone she loves, even her husband. There will be no goodbyes. Their pasts will be rewritten. New names, new home, new lives. They are being hunted. One mistake, a text, an Instagram like could bring their old lives crashing into the new. They can never assume someone isn't watching, waiting. And as Lauren will learn, disappearing is e easy. Staying harder is hidden. Uh, it's got some great reviews. Uh, Gillian McAllister, a quite popular contemporary thriller writer. It's about, um, about 100 pages, I think, maybe a little more, but the text is quite large and quite spacey, so it's not a huge, you know, um, rattling tome like Bleak House or something like that. So that's option number one, How to Disappear by Gillian McAllister. Oh, I will leave full and further information about all these books again in the description if you want to read up on them a little bit more before you cast your choice. So that's option one. Option two is a contemporary fiction um, with some beautiful sprayed edges uh, that I've been dying to read for a while. Uh, it was long listed for the 2020 uh, Booker Prize and it is uh, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. Now, the blurb for this is quite short, but quite impactful, I think. Um, it says, when Amira is apprehended at a supermarket for kidnapping the white child she's actually babysitting, her employer, Alex, resolves to make things right. So begins a crash course that will upend everything they think they know about themselves, each other, and the messy dynamics of privilege. Uh, this has had rave reviews, and I think it really kind of speaks to a lot of issues that are really prevalent for all of us at the moment, considering you know, privilege and identity and so on and so forth. And I just thought, you know, it could be a really, a really thought provoking um, read. I think this is um, the debut novel of the writer. I wouldn't, oh, they don't give you a blurb, that's annoying. Or do they? Oh yes, they do. Yes, it is, it is. Oh wow, look at that beautiful photo of the author, gorgeous. Um, Yes, and who also teaches a, um, a creative writing class with a focus on race and class, which is very, very interesting. So this is um, American contemporary fiction. Uh, but I think that could be absolutely a, a really, really interesting read and provoke a lot of discussion. OK, so that's option two. And finally, this is a slightly self-indulgent option because it touches on a lot of my favourite things. Uh, this is kind of what would I call this a kind of. Contemporary historical with elements of fantasy, maybe, maybe. Um, and this is uh, option three, In the Nightwood by Dale Bailey. And um, this says, um, Charles Hayden has been fascinated by a strange Victorian fairy tale. See, Victorian, love that. Um, in the Nightwood since he was a child. When his wife, Erin, a descendant of the author, inherits her ancestor's house, the couple decide to make it their home. Still mourning the recent death of their daughter, they leave America behind, seeking a new beginning in the English countryside. But hollow house, filled with secrets and surrounded by an ancient oak forest, ooh, like an oak forest, is a place where the past seems very much alive. Isolated among the trees, Charles and Erin begin to feel themselves haunted by echoes of the stories in the house's library, by sightings of their daughter, and by something else as old and dark as the forest around them. Ooh. Now, I hadn't heard of this before. This was absolutely uh, bought on a whim because it mentioned Victoriana, but I think it sounds really, really interesting. And um, for those of you who like a sort of bit of a dark, sort of pseudo kind of fantasy horror, this could be um, an absolute blinder, couldn't it? So there we go. That's option three, In the Nightwood by Dale Bailey. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. Can I kind of hold them all at once? Let's see how well my motor skills are working today. Sort of ish. There they be, there they be. How's about a welcome, a peaceful sword, a welcome for the gang. Bang! Not gang bang, I didn't mean that. It's from Anniket, you go. No, it's not. It's from Calamity Jane. Oh, 
take away my queer card. We mixed up my Wild West musicals there. Uh, so yeah, there we go. They are the three choices for our first edition of the Zoom Book Club. Um, you know, in subsequent months, I won't necessarily come up with a short list. We'll maybe nominate people from the group, depending on how it goes, to pick their favourite books. But just wanted to sort of kick it off with you know a couple of options so as i say have a read up on them descriptions in the links in the description um decide which one you would most like to read if indeed you want to get involved there's no obligation and then cast your vote either here on the twitter or on the instagram um and you know this time next week i'll announce which one got the most votes and that will be our first book so I'm really, really excited, actually. I think this is going to be gorgeous. You know how much I appreciate our community on, on the YouTube and, you know, chatting with you all in the comments and stuff is, is really um, a lovely, a lovely thing. Um, even if you don't want to get involved, you know, you can still feel free to cast cast a vote. And um, I, sh I shall look forward to it um, as a kind of you know, the next best thing to being able to meet in one place. In fact, in many ways, it's better because I know that a lot of people who watch here um, are not UK based, which I am. And, um, you know, it'd be a shame not to be able to have those conversations with them. So this is kind of way, a way to do that. OK, so um, I guess that's it for this little launch. Da -da 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 -da. Scrappy power. No. Um, and and for this video so get voting get reading up and, and and let me know what your thoughts are uh normal service will resume with vlogs etc in the interim period but do look out next week for an announcement of the official book and the full details about how we're going to operate the the digital book club okay so put those library cards somewhere safe albeit temporarily and um, i will see you very very soon my loves much love Mwah.